The North Staffordshire Railway opened between 1848 and 1849. It was engineered by Robert Stevenson and was known as a six-penny line as that was the average fare. Running through the heart of industrial Staffordshire in 1890, over 92% of all its passengers travelled third class, paying one and a quarter pence per mile, a little over the parliamentary rate of one penny per mile. This transport revolution had come about thanks to the Gladstone Act of 1844, which stated that every railway company had to carry third-class passengers and do so at a rate of one penny per mile, at a minimum speed of 12 miles per hour, and in a carriage which had seats and protected the occupants from the weather. Fifty years later, travelling conditions for third-class passengers had changed little, who rattled around in wooden-bodied four-wheel carriages with wooden bench seats. Measuring 20 feet long and only 8 feet wide, these carriages sat 40 passengers in four compartments. As in the 1830s, there was no upholstery, but there was a roof and sides, and there was also lighting, but one smelly oil lamp did the duty to light two compartments. There was no heating, and due to the short distances covered, no need for a toilet. The lack of upholstery meant there was nothing that would attract and retain odours, and that the interiors were easy to clean with a bucket of soapy water. These carriages would have been smelly, a combination of bodily odour and smelly work clothes, tobacco smoke and muddy boots. And on market days they would have been noisy too, with women and young children squeezing in, along with any shopping and the pet dog. Unlike other lines which, in the wake of the Midland Railway, abolishing second class and upgrading third in the 1870s, thanks to opposition from the travelling public, the North Staffordshire stuck rigidly to three classes of travel until World War I. These three North Staffordshire carriages were preserved and restored by the Naughty Coach Trust and run at the Foxfield Railway. Carriage 61 was built around 1876. It was involved in an accident in 1900 and remained in use on miners and workmen's trains until 1907. It was then used as a plate layer's hut for the next 70 years until it was rescued by the Foxfield Railway in 1976. Carriage 127 was built around 1880 and was also in use till around 1907 when it became a passenger's waiting room on the Leak and Manifold Light Railway. It then became a farmer's shed and was rescued in 1980, being restored to running condition in 2012. Break 3rd number 23 also dates from around 1880. It consists of a guard's compartment with luggage space and a compartment for third class passengers. It was found with remains of several others in the worst imaginable condition at Rudyard Lake in Staffordshire and was restored to operating condition by Stengate Restorations in 2019. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, please like, share and subscribe and you can also support this channel on Patreon for as little as a takeaway cup of coffee once per month. Thanks to Mark Ibs for use of his footage of the Naughty Coaches. And see you all next time on Rail Story.